We are back here on Carolina Women. Yes, we're at Rollers, our very favorite place with our very favorite page. <laughs> it is great to see you freshly back from Spain. That's what we've been chatting Indeed. about. You learned a lot. You said it was an amazing opportunity. Yeah, wine country was spectacular. Got to drink a lot of great wine and pair it with some fantastic food. So Did, no complaints. Is it really interesting to go and see some of the wines and the country that you sell wines from? Yeah, I mean, we went to Baronia Winery, which is a Rioja site that we sell a lot of. And just to see it there was amazing. They're one of the most sustainable um, wineries in all of Europe. So we got to see the whole shindig and see how all of that works, the ins and outs of all the sustainability practices. And it's just amazing to be there. Well, it's funny because we talk about that kind of thing all the time, but mm -hmm. to actually observe it and see the lived experience of it is pretty impressive. What are we going to talk about today? So with summer right around the corner, I wanted to highlight some really fun, chillable reds. So um, there's something that makes these specific wines chillable and the fact that, I mean, you can chill other reds, full bodied reds, you can even put a slight chill on. Okay. However, these are what's called carbonic maceration wines. Okay. So to get a little geeky with you. Yes, please. Um, during the winemaking, this is a, a special technique that they use. They will deprive the grapes of oxygen, um, put in a lot of carbon dioxide, and the grapes actually go in whole cluster, so they still have the stems with them. Um, they're not broken apart. And then the um, carbon dioxide actually allows the grapes to ferment within themselves to break oh, down. Oh, interesting. Um, and the result of that is it creates super bright, zippy acid wines, um, smoother tannins, okay. and um, a lighter bodied. So like for instance, ah. this, I mean, you can tell just the color of it. This is actually a Zinfandel. And if you know Zen, wow. you usually can't see through a Zen Not like at all, this. yes. So these are literally Chillable, chuggable, just summer go-tos. Um, it's almost like Kool-Aid for adults, wine style, oh. but they're not sweet. They're still dry wines, okay. but they're so fruit forward and zippy that they just create this really unique flavor Every profile. time I leave, I have the best <laughs> adjectives for describing my <laughs> our that. wine. I do too. <laughs> and I guess chillable and red, I've never really put as pairs. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't really do it. Like I said, even a full body Cab Sauv, I will put a slight chill on it just because I enjoy it a little bit cooler. A um, little bit especially cooler. Especially versus hot. You know, we yes. live in the, in the beach town, so if you're out at an outside bar, you don't want to drink a red that's been sitting out, right. you know, baking in the sun all day. It's so. funny, that happened last week. I, I love red wine and it was hot out and I was like, ugh, should I get something lighter? Mm -hmm. So this is what you're saying is the perfect, perfect yes. thing for a warm night. Yeah. Talk to me about something of the actual ones that you have here what can we ask for when we come in yeah so honestly if you just ask for any um carbonic wines we'll know carbonic. what you're, you're what you're talking mm -hmm. about um they typically tend to be on the more natural side as far as wine production goes okay. um, i kind of picked a good variety we've got all different types of grapes we've got malbec we've got zinfandel we've got gamay noir pinot noir um you can really do it with any grape varietal okay um even those fuller bodied ones like cab franc even so Gam uh, the Gamay mm -hmm. versus the Cabernet. What am I gonna notice in a wine like that? Because those are two really pretty distinctive flavors in just a regular red that I'm familiar with. Yeah, I mean, the Gamay versus the Cab. The Gamay, you're gonna get more bright fruit flavors. Okay. Bright red fruit flavors Got versus it. the Cab, you're gonna get some darker, um, more complex flavors. Um, and you're still gonna have, as a Cab is more tannic, okay. than your, your Gamay or your Pinot, it's still gonna have a more structured profile, even in the carbonic aspect. It's just lighter than a typical cab would be. Um, this fun little one over here, this is actually from um, Beaujolais from France. Okay. And that's where carbonic maceration originated. Um, oh. So if you know like the Thanksgiving wine, it's always that Beaujolais Nouveau. Yes. So they're, they're young wines meant to drink now. You know, you wouldn't want to, to grab a carbonic wine and age it for any long amount of time. Okay, so this is a um, buy it, drink it, don't yep. hang on to it. Yeah, it's meant to be drunk young. Every sure. single time we come, we learn so much. Well, here's what's kind of fun for me, is if you've never been up to Rollers to one of their wine tastings and had that experience, you've missed something that's <laughs> not just great, but spectacular. Yes, and but it's not too late. We have them every week, so you can still come on by. Exactly, what days? Every Tuesday and Thursday, we're now doing wine tasting. So five to seven, we have live music featuring lots of great local artists. Mm -hmm. oh. um, you can order a lovely cheese and charcuterie board to pair with your tasting. And um, lots of times we get some fun 
on special guests, either the winemaker or vineyard manager, things like that, sometimes the owners themselves. So it's always a fun and educational time for sure. It really is. Thank mm -hmm. you. Stay with us. There's more to come on Carolina Women.